This is going to be an exciting video. What are the top five most forgiving irons of 2023? Now, this is going to be seriously exciting. I'm going to drop the mic on this, though. Starting off, Callaway Paradigm haven't made the top five. They're at number six. Now, I'm shocked. Like, I thought that would be in there. So, we are going through what are the top five forgiving irons of 2023. And this is what I found on the National Club Golfer website. And this is what they're reckoning are the top five. Now, as we go through this, I want you to voice your opinion. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think of the irons? And is there any irons that you think straight away should be in there? Now, if we just sort of briefly say, who are the most forgiving irons aimed at? Well, most forgiving irons are known as game improvement irons. So as a golf coach, I would sort of say 15 handicap and above. But by all means, I'm not generalizing here. Like you, good players can use them too and have been known to be using them in their longer irons. And just on a point there, I would 100% definitely recommend that in those longer irons. Possibly think about dropping some of these in there if you can. Okay, so we know number six is the Callaway Paradigm Iron, but let's go on to number five. Number five is what they've said is the longest iron they've chosen and the longest iron out the lot. And this is the Cobra Aerojet. Now, the Aerojet story is all about distance by design. It has the PWR shell to insert to maximize speed and launch. It also has the hot face to bring efficiency of speed and spin, creating a larger sweet spot. And like in the driver, they have the powerful ball speed coming from the PWR bridge. And that is that insert which sits in the head and that gives it the extra distance. Now, the pros they say about these irons are they're exceptionally long, relatively compact shaping, forgiving off center strikes, but the cons, not very workable. Now, one thing I'd say about that is, if they're a game improvement iron and they're forgiving, we can't have everything, right? Now, looking at the look of these, I actually really like the look in terms of the shiny finish. And one thing I would also say, I like the fact they have a compact shape. One thing you'd see, and as we go through this, some of the most forgiving irons tend to start to look a little bit clumpy, a little bit cumbersome, and that is a little bit off-putting, I would say, for some golfers. A lot of golfers like a sleek design, and the Cobra Aerojet, I think, in terms of what part of the market it's at, definitely does offer that. Okay, next on our list, drum roll, please. This is one that I wouldn't have even thought of. Um, the Strixen ZX4 irons. Now, this excites me. These look pure, by the way. What do you think of these? Has anybody ever used Shrixen irons? I actually used to use Shrixen irons, um, and I used them for a long, long time and loved them. Absolutely loved them. They are forged face, and it feels soft, one of the pros. They are crazy long ball speeds, and they're forgiving on off-center hits. Now, the cons here, they are super strong lofts, produce a pretty low flight, which may not suit everybody. And one thing I'd say with that is, with the longer irons, i.e. sort of maybe your six and five iron, there may be an issue in terms of launching with these if we have got really, really strong lofts. But one thing I'd say about these, I love the look and I like how they look more like a, inverted commas, player's iron, <laughs> um, but you're still getting a lot of forgiveness. So at number four, and I think a deserved one there, the Strixen irons. Okay, number three. Now you have to have a set of pings in here, right? If you're talking forgiveness, we have to have ping in this whole conversation. Their whole driver is associated being with being one of the most forgiving on tour because of their lower back CG. So these are the ping G430 irons. Now, they are a typical sort of look of a ping iron here with a square toe ping shaping. So if you're a big ping fan, you'll be loving the fact that they have that. They're very traditional in that sort of look. Now, what do you think about the look of these? I don't... I'm not sold. Now, if you look at the back of these irons, they're a bit odd. Now, I know you don't look at the back, but for me and for you, when it's in our bag, that does have a lot to do with if we're going to buy them. Let's not lie. I know I shouldn't say that, but let's not lie. 
I find it weird that sort of big black square in the middle, but what do you think on that? So the National Club golfers say the pros of these irons, they are that they are extremely consistent irons. They're easy to launch, really good to hear because I think um, throughout the bag, especially in those longer irons, if they're easier to launch, that definitely has to be up there with why they are the most forgiving. And they're controllable. Now, there are some cons here. They're not as long as competitors in this space and ones that they've tested. Does that bother you though? If you and get in the comments here, would it be forgiveness over length or would length be bigger than forgiveness for you? And I'm saying in this bracket, I'm not saying um, blade to this. I'm saying in this bracket right now, in this conversation, would it put you off if it wasn't the longest one? Now, the pink iron combines a lower CG and stronger lofts with a thinner face to deliver faster ball speeds and significant distance gains without compromising forgiveness. Now, that is what ping call this iron. That's the description ping give. And it's interesting to hear that the National Club Golfer Test actually found that they weren't as long. Now, it's all relative, right? Okay, we are getting towards the top two, guys. What do you think of this list so far? Would you have added any others in there? Have we missed any out here? I say we. Have they missed any out? I'm quite happy with the list so far. The only one that I was surprised with was the Paradigm wasn't up there. Okay, next on our list, number two is the TaylorMade Stealth HD Irons. Oh, God. I have to say, I really don't like the look of them. They look like a hybrid. They're not an iron. Come on. What do you think of these? Everybody thinks I'm just saying this because I'm saying it to make it prove a point. But honestly, I think these are the most ugliest looking irons. If, if I was looking at this set right now, I would jump the paradigm in there ahead of these. Just purely based on looks. The one problem I have with sort of an iron slash hybrid looking golf club. I know for some people, they're going to be amazing. But my point being, as you progress, you're going to grow out of these irons very quickly. Whereas the others we've looked at, the Strix and the Ping and the Cobra, even the paradigm right now. I would say they're going to last you a lot longer, is what I'd say. Okay, so TaylorMade Stealth HD irons feature an ultra-low CG that progressively shifts higher throughout the set for easier launch and playability in the longer irons, whilst optimizing trajectory and spin in the scoring irons. The performance shape is designed to maximize distance and forgiveness, including increased curvature of the sole to help turf interaction. So, National Club golfers say here, the pros are that they're super forgiving and off-center hits. Well, they bloody should be. Look at the size of the things. Very hard to hit heavy. Okay, a good positive. That's why it's up there probably at number two. Improved consistency, draw bias, easier to hit than other models. Now, the cons, it's a big looking club. But my argument for this is, and why this I don't think should be at number two, maybe still top five, but maybe not. Um, is the look. Look has a big thing to do with an iron. I buy clubs based on look and performance, and look for me is massive. Okay, here we go. Coming in at number one, and this one will completely shock you right now. This is the Wilson Dyna Power Irons. What do you think of what I've just said? I just said Wilson is number one on this list. Okay, so Dyna Power Irons have a high MOI and a low CG. Now, this is something that is not surprising. We have seen throughout all these forgiving irons. And the reason is, the lower back you put the CG, the easier it is to get in the air. But the Dyna Power AI, now this is the Dyna Power Artificial Intelligence. So essentially going down the route of having a faster face. So it has thousands of different face thicknesses and power hole locations to deliver optimum performance. The result provides even faster ball speeds over the entire face where 85% of a 10 plus handicap golfer tend to strike the golf ball. So they're basically saying the entirety of the face is faster. We know 10 plus handicappers don't hit the middle too often. So let's make that more forgiving. Love the idea of it. Absolutely love. So the pros of this, it's an extremely long iron, very consistent, high launching. Now, the unfortunate bit here is it's a big profile, especially in the long irons, and it has a fairly thick top line. But in this market, I, my opinion on that, it doesn't really matter that. In terms of it still looks like an iron, doesn't look too cumbersome. Compare that to TaylorMade. 
Guys, there we go. That is our roundup here of the top five most forgiving irons of 2023. As always, I want to know your opinion on this, so do get down in the comments, and thanks for watching.